Hi, welcome to the Fox School of Wine. Tonight's class was the Australia You Don't Know, and uh, I'm Professor Sesney, teaching class tonight. The idea for tonight's class was to introduce students to um, Australian wines that are maybe from other regions, or that maybe are from varietals that people don't necessarily associate with Australia. Uh, we didn't have any Shiraz uh, in the class tonight. We didn't have any Chardonnay in the class tonight. And all of the wines were from smaller producers in uh, sort of small delineated sub-appellations within the country. Um, so going down the line, we started out first with the Killicanoon Killerman's Run Riesling. It's the 2013 version of uh, that Riesling, which is from the Clare Valley. Cool climate, high acid, very dry Australian Riesling. Sort of also wanted to dispel the misimpression that all Rieslings are sweet. Australian Rieslings are always quite dry. Uh, that wine uh, was, uh, was graded pretty tough by the class. We actually had a pretty tough round of grades this, uh, this go around. That wine got a C plus. It, uh, it is a $17.95 of, uh, cent bottle of Riesling uh, that was given a uh, 93 point score by Wine and Spirits. Second wine tonight was uh, Diarenberg, the Hermit Crab. It's a blend of Viognier and Marsan from McLaren Vale, uh, just outside of Adelaide in South Australia. The 2014 vintage of that wine. The uh, students at Fox School of Wine gave that, that wine a B minus. It comes in at 14.95, and the wine advocate gave it a 90 point score. Next up, we had the innocent bystander Pinot Gris. Pinot Gris from the Yarra Valley sub-appellation in Victoria, just, uh, just outside of Melbourne, sort of suburban Melbourne in a cool climate zone. Uh, the innocent bystander Pinot Gris was given a C- minus by the students at the Fox School of Wine. Uh, that wine is $15.95 a bottle. And uh, Wine and Spirits gave that one a 90, or an 89-point score, pardon me. James Holliday, the Australian wine co uh, companion, gave that a 93 point score. So slightly higher, a little bit of variance in the scores there. Wine number four uh, comes from the very southwestmost corner, a little knob on the very southern pound of Australia, the Great Southern Appalachian, which uh, the closest major city is Perth, but it's quite a ways out of Perth. Uh, very cool climate growing zone there that uh, Chardonnay and Pinot Noir do quite well. Plantagenet Omra Pinot Noir, the Fox School of Wine students gave that a C. Uh, that bottle cost $16.95, and that got a 90-point score from James Holliday's Australian Wine Companion as well. Finally, we finished up with a Cabernet from Penley Estate. Uh, Penley is a uh, sort of conjunction between Penfolds and Tolly, the family that owned the Penfolds winery back in the day. Kim Tolly's winery project uh, in Kunawara which is a zone uh, with unique soil called Terra Rosa, which is particularly well suited to producing high quality Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, the class here at the Fox School of Wine gave the Penley Estate Phoenix Cabernet a B. This is the 2010 vintage, by the way. Uh, that bottle is $16.95, and Robert Parker's Wine Advocate gave it an 88 point score. So different wines from smaller regions within Australia, smaller producers, that are not uh, the typical Shiraz that everybody associates with Australia from, uh, from the sort of the warm southeastern corner of the, of the country. And that was the lineup for our wines tonight. We always enjoy having the students come and visit us at the Fox School of Wine. We hope you'll come for a class sometime soon. And thanks very much for joining us. Have a great night and enjoy drinking wine.